8 age 9 I was forced to stay home from our 3 day school trip because entitled parents and it broke my heart and had lasting effects on my life. As a child I was enrolled in a Washington DC private school, so kids of politicians, diplomats, lawyers, doctors etc. The school charged an insane amount for tuition, expected parents to pay thousands extra in fees slash donations and took the kids on their choice of 4 2 week trips, art in Europe, skiing in New Hampshire, scuba diving and biology in Australia, every year that cost tens of thousands. One girl's mom bought a darkroom and camera equipment for the school so her daughter could learn photography. These parents and their kids were beyond entitled. My parents could afford my tuition, but that was a stretch for them so we weren't viewed as being especially valuable to the school. My school was taking each grade on a three-day trip that they got us psyched up for all year. The teacher asked each child to list their five top choices for roommates. The week before the trip my mom got a call from the principal. I was nosy so I picked up two and listened in on the conversation. Basically, she said, well, none of the kids want your daughter in their cabin, they don't like her. We suggested that it would be a nice thing to do but the parents didn't think their children should be forced to be with someone they disliked. We don't have enough cabins to put her in one by herself so you should just keep her home. I was devastated. Nine years old, completely heartbroken, in tears. They didn't want their children to be uncomfortable. But it's okay for any nine-year-old girl to know that no one likes her and her school doesn't care how she feels. I refused to go back to school. I was so ashamed, I felt shattered and stupid and worthless. That was the beginning of a downslide into depression. I had been told by those kids for years that I was worthless, stupid, ugly, and one year I did a report on being adopted and let me tell you the kids had a field day with that. But the realization that not one single person was in my corner, not even the teachers, it just broke me. I believed them all, I was worthless. At age 12 my parents put me in a residential hospital school for kids with severe depression. I am now 35 and I have a good life, wonderful friends, great kids, and I foster all kinds of abandoned and unwanted animals. Life is good, I am loved and I am happy but I still get choked up thinking back to that phone call. F those bratty kids and their entitled parents. Edited for typo and because I misstated the tuition cost originally and someone wondered about that. Thanks so much for how kind everyone is being btw and I'm so sorry that so many of you were treated badly.